Hi, I'm Diane with Red Poppy Wig Boutique in the Kansas City metro area. And today I just wanted to do a little fast, um, down and dirty, if you will, look at a couple different colors. I've had a lot of requests to talk about that. And without getting really deep into the color wheel and how that all works, just sort of think back to your maybe grade school, middle school, um, color wheel days and how your primary colors, your red, blue, yellow, mix to make secondary colors and tissue colors and on and on and on. And that's what we look at with, or what I look at when picking out wigs for different people, um, warm tones, cool tones, what does that mean? Um, today, I'm gonna show you a couple reds. I also did a video show, showing wigs that I wouldn't choose and why I wouldn't choose that as far as a blonde and a, a more red or bl brunette color. Um, I do, I just want to tell you that I do don this nylon cap for hygiene reasons because I do sell these wigs in the shop and I'm not going to keep them. Under my normal wigs, I don't wear one of these. I, I don't like wearing them. They're, they're, um, to me, they're too tight and they're slippery, so I don't care to wear them, but um, some people like them. So it's it's not a have to one way or another. So this wig that I wanna show you today is an Envy Hair wig, E-N-V-Y, and Envy Hair is, their wigs are made up of 30% human hair and 70% synthetic. So they tend to last a little longer in the longer styles than just a traditional, uh, I wanna say heat friendly wig. Um, so I have ordered several long styles to try and I thought these would be a good choice to show you the different colors. So as I mentioned earlier, on a color wheel, you have your primary colors, the blue, yellow, and red and if so to think about cool tones and warm tones think of if you mixed red with yellow think fire warm and that's what you're getting here this is a, a warm tone it's more towards the orange which is red and yellow mixed together so that's a warmer red and i don't know if you can t see that on the camera or not this particular wig is called Erica, and the color is lighter red. I am obviously very fair complected. Whoa, very fair, as I mentioned, very slippery. Very fair complected. Uh, I have a lot of European and Irish heritage, light eyes, even though with the dark, dark hair, um, I can wear this tone. I mean, obviously, with a fair complexion, you can. And with my um, hazel eyes, they're kind of a green-gray color. It works. But it's, it's not my favorite. But you can see that it's got more of the orangey, again, the warm tones to it. But it's not my favorite red. I, um, but most definitely I can wear it. I have family members that have this color hair. So, um, this particular wig, just so you can kind of get an idea about it, is it fits pretty good. It's got a, a stretchier cap, and I have a larger head, so that's always really important to me. It has lace from ear to ear. It comes down. It's not, you know, Again, big head. It comes clear down to here, or the, the lace does. And then inside the cap is silicone from ear to ear with a fully hand tied top and wefted back. So there's a lot of stretch to it. it it's, it's not too bad. So the next wig is a different, completely different style. Obviously, it's not been out of the box either. So this is also in an Envy Hair wig, which is this the blend of human hair and synthetic. 
and this is in a dark red. So on the color wheel again, when you mix blue and red, you get purple. And um, that's where your cool colors come in. So think blue, ice, cold. That This has a, got a more blue tone to it. And I apologize if it's really difficult to tell what that, what the difference, what the difference is. But side by side, you might be able to see it a little easier. This particular wig just has a, it's not quite to temple to temple lace with a side part and a wefted back. She's got a lot of curl. I would prefer for me because I am kind of like dramatic that way, a red like this. This, this is my, I just like the bluer reds better with my skin because I, t I have a, a more, a cooler undertone to my skin. I don't have a lot of yellow in my skin or, um, and I don't tan, I just, I just turn off white. And, um, but I prefer the bluer. I, I like it better with my eyes and my, and my coloring. But this is called Emma. And, um, and what did I tell you her? She was called Dark Red. So, lots of nice long curl. It's pretty fun. Rocking my, rocking my 80. Oh, this looks like my, kind of my graduation hair from high school. I had a perm back then. And when I didn't put rollers in it, it kind of looked like this. But anyway, that's, that's my little fast color lesson. So hopefully that helps um, a little bit. You'll find tutorials online that talk to you about looking at your arm and the, the color of your veins in your arm. And if, if they're bluer or purple compared to if they're greener and, um, you know, some of us or what jewelry looks better if you wear gold or silver, I can do both. Honestly. Um, I, I, I do, I am able to pick up a little bit of both of those colors, but I prefer um, the darker red. Um, that's like I said, just a personal preference. I think it. I think it's a more striking and flattering. Again, you can do whatever you want to do, but those are some of the things that I look at when you come in for consultation, and we look at colors. Um, I sort of look at the overall picture instead of, you know, where you start, where you've been. I look at where you are now and what, what's going to be most flattering for your features. I hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to subscribe and um, like the video and share if you find it, if you deem that appropriate. Again, I'm um, Diane and I own Red Poppy Wig Boutique. I'm located in the Kansas City metro area been working with wigs since I was eight years old and so that's a really long time but um, thank you for joining today and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video